Hi and welcome to the channel. Today I'm going to explain and demo how do you install Apache Tomcat as the management console. I actually got asked about this quite a few times and realized there isn't really any video and information that you can find online. So hopefully this video will be very useful to all. So from my screen now you can see that I have two virtual machines uh, running right now. Uh, one of them is my SQL, the other one will be management console which has nothing installed on it right now. So let's fix the, let's settle the database my SQL server right now. Um, I have used my SQL but essentially you can use any other database software such as MS SQL, Postgres, IBM DB2 or Oracle DB, all this will work also. Alright, so basically I have installed I finished installing my SQL. I just log in my SQL workbench and show you guys what are the things that you need to sort of configure inside. Okay, so make sure you install, uh, you configured an additional database schema. Right now I name it RPA underscore MC. So this name will be needed later on when you do the Tomcat configuration. So another thing that I configured is adding another new users and another new set of credentials that has access to all the privileges. So um, you can use this set of statements to create the users if you want. So um, feel free to copy all these statements down. Uh, basically, you just need to input in the username and this is my my the host name for the management console as well as the this is the password given for the user so just make sure you change all the fields necessary accordingly all right so that's basically for the sql server that you need to pay attention to and of course um, let me check what's the ip address for this okay so now it goes back to the management console vm which has nothing installed right now so just to show you guys again okay right now this vms only have uh, the microsoft visual c++ uh, patches installed only so uh, make sure you have all these files ready before you start the installation so this is the microsoft this is the apache tomcat installation file you have the uh, java installation java and this is the my sql connector for java and of course the covex rpa 11.0 installation file all right so the first thing that you want to install will be java uh, anyway i'll link all these files inside the description in under the video section so feel free to check out those links to download the files required and of course if there's a newer version uh, feel free to try try those out Okay, Java installation should be pretty fast. Okay, I'll I'll be doing all this in real time so that to give you guys an idea how how long how much time does it really take to configure all this. Okay, Java installed. Next one we want to install is Apache Tomcat. Okay, um, I, I will just set a username and password for this. Okay, confirm your directory. Pretty much uh, next next visit. Okay, once done, I will run Apache Tomcat service and test out whether the installation is successful or not. So to test this out, I will just go to my local host and if you're able to see this page means that your tomcat services is running fine so the next step will be going to install Corfax rpa management console all right so i will stop this service first okay then i'll execute Corfax rpa installer 
set license agreement, then I will choose custom and just select the management console wall. Okay, so you just want this to be installed. Okay, choose next, install. Alright, once done, click on finished. Okay, the next thing is to configure the Tomcat Apache site. Okay, I go to my file explorer. Okay, what I want to do now is going to the Kofax RPA installer folder. Okay, choose under web apps and you want to pick up the management console.war file. Okay. You want to copy this file into the Apache directory, installation directory. Okay, going to web apps and paste the file over here. Okay, um, after that, you want to go to the library folder. Library folder, you want to put the SQL connector uh, driver inside. So I'll do a control C and control V inside also. Okay, so make sure this driver file is inside the lead folder. Okay, the next one will be going to the config folder, then choosing Catalina, localhost, and over here you want to create an XML file. Okay, so I will just write the XML file right now first. So this XML file you can copy most of it from the administrative admin guide okay let me pull out the admin guide for you to see okay so if you go to page 57 of this admin guide you will see a set of coding uh, for the management console.xml file that you want to put inside this uh, localhost folder so i will just do a control c going back to my vm control v over Okay, there are a few things that you want to change inside this XML file, definitely. Um, first one is the username that I put in for just now my, my SQL configuration. So my username is Alex. Password is Corfax RPA NC. Right? You can double check over here. Corfax RPA NC Alex. Okay, and the IP address, um, this is not localhost, so I'll put in the IP address. Okay, and this is the database uh, schema that I mentioned just now. So for mine is RPA underscore MC. So uh, recap, you need to change the username password, you need to change the IP address and also the database schema. Then after that, another thing that I will add in is the server time zone because I realized that if I didn't add this in, I will get an error. So you just put in the server time zone equals to UTC and I put in the XML tag over here. Okay, once done, you can save the file. You have to save the file with the name exactly as what you see inside the web map folder, which is management console. Okay. XML. Okay. Let me just remove this. So you have a management console XML file over here. You check again. Everything is okay. So once everything is okay, all right, you can start the Tomcat service back. So once you started this Tomcat service back, you will realize that the web app folder, the management console.war file has been expanded and you will see a management console folder over here. Same. Underneath the folder, you have all the necessary files for this. Okay, you don't need to do anything to that. Alright, so once this is done, you can go back to your 
web site and put in localhost and slash management console. Alright, so you can see that this is successful and you manage to go into you manage to have the Covex RPA management console installed together with Tomcat. So login, the default user name and password is admin and admin same. So log in and it will prompt you for the license. Okay, so after that you after you have keyed in the license, you can add in the robo server from there. Alright, so that's it for this video. If you have any questions, feel free to drop them in the comments below. I'm planning to do and upload this sort of RPA videos at least once per week. So if this sort of content is what you are looking for, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and give a like for this video so that you will receive a notification whenever there's a new video on Copex RPA. Once again, thank you and I'll see you next time.